PlayStation just rolled out this feature where you can actually stream games online without having to download them. This definitely helps out if you guys are running in memory shortages or you just don't want to invest in a new SSD because they are still kind of pricey depending on what memory you guys go with or you guys just don't want to bother with any of that and just want to stream games online you guys can now definitely do so and you guys are going to be streaming high quality games like ratchet and clank rip the part horizon forbidden west and other cool games which is pretty cool and today i'm gonna to be showing you guys if it's worth it because you guys do need playstation plus premium which is kind of pricey and to see if whether the service works or not so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys do make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe to the channel we are on our way to 4k subscribers which is awesome so i definitely like to have you i do live stream here on the channel as well currently playing through allen way 2 which is an awesome experience so yeah guys let's get to the video shall we all right we're right here on the playstation 5's home screen and let's go ahead and see what games we have available and what can we actually test out and stream so right here of course like i said you do need playstation plus premium so we'll make our way to the cloud streaming service right here so how cloud streaming works jump right into the action no need to wait for games to download and take up storage space stream games including ps plus catalog titles ps5 game trials and select game library titles finish with the game there's nothing to delete so move straight on to the next which is pretty cool so we'll go ahead and wake our way down here and see some of the games that are available we have gotham knights spider-man miles morales alien isolation mortal kombat 11 dead by daylight demon souls that's really cool ratchet and clank with the part i think we should probably stream this one since this is a ps5 exclusive very high quality game i definitely streamed it here on the channel and i enjoyed it so we'll go ahead and hit the stream and let this load up so i will have a chart right here having the recommendation internet speeds for cloud streaming now you can stream up to 4k which is awesome 1440p 1080 and 720 so i think for 2160 4k you guys do need at least 32 to 40 megabytes so keep that in mind so let this load up and we'll see if it actually is a smooth experience all right guys so here we are in the wretched and clank rift apart game let's go ahead and move around and see if we experience any delays or how smooth the game is i am playing this on 4k so looks pretty good so far running really well very nice pretty smooth experience so far again just showing you guys some gameplay to see if we experience any delays or any frame rate issues. Very nice. Hey, have you seen Kit anywhere? Not yet. She hasn't returned from her big adventure. So yeah, guys, not experiencing any delay, any issues. Uh, yeah, me too. So pretty awesome. Nothing to say here. Running pretty great. Let's go ahead and move on to another game, shall we? All right, guys. So here we are playing Dead by Daylight. We just got done the Wretched and Clank Rift apart, and that went pretty smoothly. So now we're playing an online game, Dead by Daylight, which I absolutely love. So let's go ahead and see if this runs smoothly, which I'm pretty sure it will. If Wretched and Clank Rift apart ran pretty good and we're playing it in 4k i'm sure this is gonna run well as well so let's go ahead and just get some gameplay move around see if it actually performs pretty good like ratchet and clank did so looks phenomenal it's running pretty well so far we'll go ahead and work on a generator right here So I hear the killer coming, so I'm going to go ahead and try to go the opposite side if I can. So yeah, guys, pretty smooth experience so far. Again, you guys want to make sure you guys have a good internet connection if you guys want to be playing, especially in 4K or 1440p. 
they recommend at least 40 megabytes 32 to 40 for 4k so keep that in mind if you guys want to be streaming these in a higher quality just repairing this generator problems we'll go ahead and move some more so yeah the game looks phenomenal it's running well like i have it downloaded no issues no buffering no frame drops <laughs> running around There's the killer. Yeah, guys, no problem. Another successful game right here. Ratchet and Clank works. Dead by Daylight works. So let's go ahead and try another game, shall we? All right, guys, here we are with another amazing PS5 exclusive game, Horizon Forbidden West. We are streaming this, of course, in 4K. So let's go ahead and load this up. I did finish this game. I actually streamed it as well here on the channel. And let's see if this runs well. Ratchet and Clank has been awesome. So as Dead by Daylight. So let's go ahead and try out another pretty big game with Horizon Forbidden West. So it looks absolutely amazing so far. Running smoothly. No frame drops. No buffering. Oh, yeah, man. Absolutely love the Horizon franchise let's go get into, get into some combat here see if we experience any issues Hold on, guys. Don't need to be a little too aggressive there. Whoa. No issue so far. Very impressed. So right here, when you actually go to the home screen right here, you guys can actually click the game. You guys can close the game from here, return to game, import PS4 data. Right here, you can change the resolution. So as you guys can see, I have it at max. You can go from 1440p, 1080, 720. But keep in mind that if you are gonna change resolution, you do need to restart the game as it prompts right here. You'll need to restart the streaming game to apply this change. So keep that in notice, troubleshoot, and then of course, these stuff as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said i just wanted to do this little demonstration for you guys to see if you guys are interested in streaming any of these games want to invest in playstation plus premium because it is kind of pricey but it is worth it if you guys want to play all these awesome games game trials all these classic games as well from the ps3 era psp and they keep adding games to that catalog as well so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys hit that like button this go a long way and i'll catch you guys on the next one take care peace